Hi guys, I'm Hayley Morales and today I'm doing a haul. I look like a grandma but it's fine because I'm sick and the grind don't stop. So I went to Ulta today and I just became a Platinum member. I usually shop at Sephora so that's why I hadn't become a Platinum member yet at Ulta. But today that changed. First of all, Tarte um, was giving out free totes so I got this for free. It says, sleep, slay, repeat. Sound like me. Looks like this. Let's just get into the haul. So, um, I went with Ashlyn and I needed to pick up the Tarte Foundation. Don't come for me saying I'm racist or anything. I don't even... Sometimes y'all get too much, <laughs> but <coughs> I said, I'm only going to get that. Just one, $39. It's all I'm going to spend. I had to get two bags because every, every $30 you spent from Tarte, you got that tote and Ashlyn wanted to too, so I had to do two separate purchases. First of all, Ulta has ColourPop since when? Um, I was so shook about that. I love ColourPop. They have it at Sephora a little bit and they have some at Ulta, but it was like literally all sold out, which is dumb, but it's whatever. I'll start off with my Tarte foundations. First, I got the Hydrating Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. And these are cruelty free. I'm trying to do more cruelty free products because y'all always come for me. This is Fair Beige and it looks like this. I'll open it up for y'all. Ooh, she clean. Oh, I already messed it up. I'm not gonna swatch it because I don't wanna like waste makeup or whatever. Double Duty Beauty. Um, This one is a pretty good match on me. I tested it in the store. Also, I got the matte one. Um, Also, these are $39 a piece, which isn't that bad. Um, I haven't heard like necessarily good things about this foundation. I just um wanted to get it because the shape tape is really good. This one is Fair Sand. This is this one. This one is like lighter than the other one, I think, because that's why I got this one, because I was afraid that one might be too dark. Even though they didn't have the shade, what is this? They didn't have Fair Sand in this one, I don't think. Maybe they did. No, they didn't. They didn't have Fair Sand over here. I don't, I'm not, honestly, I don't know. And I got another Tarte Shape Tape, because the Tarte Shape Tape I have is super light. I got the shade Fair. So now I got Light Medium, and I know that's pretty dark, but... First of all, I don't really want an under eye concealer necessarily. I don't really have like one just to go around. I usually only have under eye concealers. And then every other concealer I have is way too dark for me. But it's not dark enough to be a contour shade. Like first world problems. But I got light medium. And this is this one. Let me just do this because I didn't really put it on me yet. And I know I'm wasting product like I just said. She's a hypocrite y'all. Oh my gosh, this as a foundation would be so good. <laughs> said everyone look at that that's not that bad this can be like a face concealer or i can mix it with my other one that's too light under my eyes and it'll probably be a really good match so then i got the color pop dream fever the packaging is super cute um this is a quad an eyeshadow quad except they're individual eyelashes so there's jinxy hello goodbye elixir and no promises and there's two ultra glitters and two matte shades here are the ultra glitters this is fluffy and this is hello goodbye what fluffy isn't even on here what the heck what did they give me the wrong ones y'all <laughs> i got the wrong one in here this wasn't even open i got fluffy and i wasn't supposed to get that are you sure i wasn't supposed to get that it says fluffy, but on the box, it says jinxy. There's no fluffy here. Um, okay then, I might return it. I don't know, because I don't know if I was supposed to get that color. And you know how many colors I have like this. So I'm going to search online and see what color I was supposed to get. And if I didn't like that color, then I'll just keep it. But that's really confusing. Whatever. So these are the colors. This is like a burgundy or like a maroon super pretty i'll just open it and i'm not gonna swatch them there's that Ooh, it's so pretty and this was 18 dollars for all four of these here's elixir elixir 
it's probably just elixir and i'm being dramatic also fun fact these are all handmade oh my gosh i saw them make it on like clever this is fluffy even though it's supposed to be whatever shade it's supposed to be it's honestly really pretty but i just have so many shades like this that's gorgeous kind of yeah i'm just kind of upset because like you know how much that's like eight divided by four four eight twelve sixteen twenty um i don't know three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen these are three dollars a piece which isn't bad but and then this one i have a lot of colors like this but i don't know i just got it because i really wanted that burgundy color i spent 18 dollars just to get one color Haley knows the value of money okay then i got the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade seduce and this can be used as a kind of a bronzer too because I only have one blush and it's by Tarte and it's called Blissful and it's pretty good. So I got this one and as you can see it's kind of dark like a mauve. I saw it and I fell in love with it and I just snatched it up. Here it is. Um, It can be used as a bronzer like too as you can tell kind of. But this is just to like add more definition because I don't really like pink cheeks. I just like kind of darker cheeks because I'm so fair. But... Yeah, I was really excited to get that. Doesn't have mineral oil in it, which is good because mineral oil is bad for your skin. And these smell like good. I don't know. I smelled the other one. This doesn't smell like anything. It probably smells like Amazonian clay. <laughs> I can't talk. I don't know if I'm going to edit out all the time so I like, can't talk. But I can't talk in this video at all. Then I got the Ardell Studio Effects customized by a makeup artist. That's cool. I have some Zappo lashes and they're kind of like this but they're flared out on the end so I was thinking and I was like oh I want some without that so these are super like big and flirty I meant to say fluffy but that came out I don't know these are wispies I don't know if that has anything to do with it then I got a mascara I got buxom lash mascara un volume inten intensity volumizes separates and defines lashes I got this because Carly Bible she was putting on some lower lash mascara and she goes this is my favorite buxom mascara she was like this is the buxom mascara so i was like okay and then i went to buxom for the buxom area and they had like three mascaras and i was like okay so i saw the one that said buxom and i was like that's probably the one so i hope this is the one because i don't want to have to return it if it's like horrible because i have some mascaras that are bad but i still keep them like I think this is the one because it just says buxom. Yeah, but she used it. It was so pretty and I was like, I'm gonna get that. And this is only $20, so it wasn't that bad. But I'm actually gonna put it on just so I don't I'm so dramatic. Like I'm not gonna swatch anything. Is this the one that has the curvy in? She was talking about one mascara and she was like, it's the one that has the curvy wand. I don't know. Okay, so this mascara kind of reminds me of the new Shijina Healthy Volume, which is my favorite mascara of all time. Um, this is really good, it separates them pretty good Ooh, i like this mascara and i didn't even curl my lashes yet and i still like it it's like natural mascara i guess i don't know if this is the one she used i hope it was but it's a nice mascara it's like if you want to wear mascara but you don't want it to look like cakey or you just kind of want it to look like you're not wearing mascara this is that mascara it's a nice mascara yeah it's nice um also <laughs> i wasn't wearing mascara before this so there should be a difference but you might not be able to tell because of the glasses i'm wearing um next let's see i got the anastasia matte lipstick set this is the mini one that was like in front at ulta like at the stores this is cruelty free as well oh it slides out like this i love the mini section of ulta like it's my favorite oh psh. Boy, I swear. Boy, how they about to trick me like that? Okay, it only opens for the front, but I want it. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I love this packaging. What the heck? So it comes with four, and these are lipsticks because I have a lot of lip products, but they're more like glosses. I don't really have lipsticks. Ooh, this is soft pink. Oof. Look at that. That's gorgeous. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't even really usually wear lipsticks. Because, I don't know, I just didn't think they looked good on me. But since I'm like a beauty person, I needed to get me some. So I'm going to start out with some naturals. This is Kiss. Ooh, this is like a mob. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. I love this color. Y'all about to see me wearing lipsticks every single video, I swear. Ooh, I like this one. It's called Vice. Ah, oh, bro. We out here, Anastasia. Okay, queen. And then the last one is Dead Roses. Okay. 
and then this one is like a darker color for when I actually wear eyeshadow. So yeah, those are them. They're really freaking cute and they're tiny and they're adorable and the packaging is amazing and I just want to tap on it all the time. I'm excited about those. Y'all are going to see me wearing those all the time. And last but not least, another cruelty-free item since all y'all been nagging me to um have cruelty-free products, I guess. Is this cruelty-free? No, Buxom is not. Okay. Well, also ColourPop, I think, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, this is cruelty-free too. A lot of products are cruelty-free, so I don't know why y'all always say, like, use cruelty-free products, because I probably use all of them, and I didn't even know they're cruelty-free. Anyway, this is by Anastasia. It's a subculture palette, and before y'all come for me, um, they changed the formula. I heard, that's what my friend said, they changed the formula on these so that they're not as powdery. And even if they are powdery, it's fine. Carly Bible used it in a tutorial, and it looks stunning. It's not that big of a deal. I have... The Prism palette and the Modern Renaissance palette, so I wanted to get the Subculture palette. Where's the little thing? Ooh, what the heck? The little thing right here was like on this side instead of under here, so I couldn't lift out the brush like that. Okay, let's see the brush, because I know the brush on the Prism palette had like the brown end as well. I think it did. Yeah. Ooh, another brush like I need anymore. Ooh, this one isn't that soft. It's more like hard, and then this one... Oh, Anastasia has the best brushes, I swear. Yeah, that's a good brush. And then here is the palette. I'm going to take off this little sticker. Y'all want to see a satisfying part? I just ruined it when I scraped it. It, like, sounded bad. But, ooh, the mirror's so pretty. <coughs> So here is the palette. Carly Bible did like one with like these or something. Or it was either that one and that one or this one. I don't know. But it looks so pretty. So I can already see me using these two or these three in a look. Oh my gosh, these two? Okay, I'm gonna definitely do a look with these because they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Electric, this is like, this one looks like one in the Prism palette. It might be the same one. Is it? Let me get it. No, I thought they were the same. What the heck? Are they? No, it's Pyramid. And electric this is this compared to the prism palette the prism palette is on top they're not really similar i guess just went in so let y'all know if y'all were like thinking about that actually they kind of are eden and roxy eden and roxy and then unity and dawn are kind of the same and then fear and electric are kind of the same and eternal sphinx and adorn are kind of the same and mercury and lore yeah those are all like and then parallel and like Fudge and cube and lucid kind of I don't know they aren't the same but they kind of have the same kind of tones which is like yellow and blue and then like orange but that one's more like dramatic and this is more like you can use this as an everyday look thing so I'm super excited to use this I'm just gonna like see if it's really powdery oh no it's not that bad really I barely used it and like how pretty that is I literally just said I'm not gonna swatch anything y'all need to unsubscribe oh my gosh I tap on everything with these nails, um, subculture. That's cute. Oh my gosh, yes. I have nowhere to put my palettes. I have too many. <laughs> First world problem. Well, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Follow on my socials down below. They'll be in the description. Subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Caliber, <laughs>